it's me, Liz Ewell from Old Stables Crafts. Welcome to my normal Thursday afternoon craft and chat. Oh, and it's a kind of, I don't know, day. It can't decide whether it's blowy or sunny or wet. And, you know, my Alexa's off again. Um, so... <laughs> He's, he doesn't have an answer for anything, apparently. Um, let me just see if I am going... Ooh. Yes. Live. Yahoo. Hoorah. Um, right. So, uh, as you join, let me know that you're here. Um, and where you're from. My brain went for a moment there. So, yesterday afternoon I had my gym assessment. Hello Carol from Washington State I'm guessing. Um, so yesterday afternoon I had my gym assessment because it's a rolling three-month program that I'm on and every three months they like to see what progress you've made. Um, and at the moment before the assessment I had the record for holding the plank longest. Hello Pam. Um, so the plank is that thing that you do on your elbows and your toes and everything else is supposed to stay flat and you're supposed to hold it using your glutes and your abdominals and things. So the record that I set three months ago was five minutes, 40 seconds, which is quite a long time, it has to be said. And at the end of it, I was shaking everywhere. Talk about exercise to failure. Hello, Diane from San Diego. Hello, Jesse. So yesterday, um, seven minutes, eight seconds. So I've smashed it. So I'm feeling quite, um, quite proud of myself. Uh, apart from the fact that I then had a gym, a standard gym session this morning and I was so shattered from yesterday afternoon. That wasn't terribly good. Hello, Sherry. It's cool and raining with you. Oh no, hello Claire. So it's not warm, excuse me while I stop my nose from running. Um, it's not warm with us, it's about, let's see, what's my computer telling me? It's 16 degrees and mostly cloudy, which is about right actually, um, and windy. I mean, it's quite, it's gusty rather than windy. Um, so anyway, so yes, I'm feeling a little shattered today. So if my brain goes for one of its usual little wonders, that's why. Hello, Lorna. Hello, Gwen from North Carolina. So yes, I think my shoulders are going to really tell tomorrow. Um, because I also had to do proper push-ups when I did my assessment yesterday, rather than just from the knees. Um, because I was doing... I, I'd got to the point where, frankly, there was no... They time you for press-ups press ups and squats. They time you. They give you 60 seconds to do as many as you can. Um, and when I did it three months ago, they said, yeah, you kind of couldn't have done any more in 60 seconds because I was just going so fast for both the push-ups and the squats. So I had to do full push-ups yesterday and squats with a weight so I think I'm going to suffer tomorrow but hey having problems again with my oh, oh no um Pam we'll take that offline if we could please um Pam's one of my team so I'll I'll catch up with you later I don't know why it's I think you need to contact demo support and let them know um if you could please um I don't know why that's happening, but if you could please, it's my smart speaker is not being terribly smart. So Pam, if you could just let demo support know, that would be good. Um, Diane, it's only, f I'm just gonna turn the volume down on my thing, which hopefully will mean he's not trying to pick things up that I'm saying. Um, so it's four minutes past seven with Diane in, in Wash, no, California. And Corrie is here. Hello, Corrie Papercrafts, who is Karen, I think. I'm going to have to, I'm just going to unplug my so-called smart speaker.
because he's chatting to me. And I don't know why, because I'm not saying Alexa, but I have a man on my Alexa. Anyway, so I'm going to flip the camera down and get started properly because I'm using basically an embossing folder today. So it's one of our new embossing folders. It's the Painted Poses 3D embossing folder. And it's gorgeous. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see if you can. Not really. Let me find. I happen to have a piece of, I don't know why, but Misty Moonlight here. So let's have a look. That's better. So you can see it's very, very involved. Um, and I'm going to make two cards. One is going to be all white apart from the sentiment and one isn't uh it's going to be mostly white but not all white hello jan from oregon right okay i was actually going to use sit stay relax and then i decided i was going to use this don't ask me why just because you ordered that embossing folder yesterday yay uh Yes, she's Karen or Corrie, whichever people prefer. You don't mind either. Fair enough, Corrie. I'm just trying to remember because there's people who aren't their name and I'm trying to remember. Anyway, so as I say, I'm going to be using mostly white. So I've got, surprise, surprise, white out. Hello, Wendy in New Hampshire. I would never have guessed that that was Wendy because it's WMDMCG, which I'm sure means something terribly exciting, but... I don't know what. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run some white, base, some I was gonna say basic white. No, it is basic white rather than whisper white. Um, through my uh, cut and emboss, uh, I'm just gonna trim these down first because I want them slight. Well, one of them I want slightly smaller, so I'm gonna trim it down first, uh, and I'm gonna take a quarter of an inch off. E one you know a short and a long side so it's going to be quite a bit smaller than my normal layers only because I have something quite bright to bring in for one of them for one of my one of them one of my cards is going to be quite that's not straight that's meh. by the time it's been through the embossing folder no one will notice because it's going to get quite squished it's your initials, but all in a string. That's a reasonable way of doing it. So let's get the right bits out. I need my large cut and emboss. And I need my base plate. Let me make sure that everything is where I need it to be, more or less. So I need my number one base plate number one and it tells me that if I want to do 3d embossing I need my number one and my number four my number four is my gray plate and it is numbered just to make it all easy you should always feed your embossing folders in hinge first Mary first time of watching live in the Netherlands I'm not even gonna ask well I am going to Asendelft, maybe. I'm sorry if that's wrong. Um, I'm not great at languages, I have to say. So I'm going to pop this in towards the top. I don't even know if this is the larger one or the smaller one. It's the larger one. Um, hinge first. They do say insert hinge first. Her comments bit isn't working. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Detta. Or Det. Det. Bernadette. Bernadette. Sorry, you're, it's not working. That's You have to be logged in. So whether you're not logged in to your Google account, I don't know, because YouTube is part of Google. Um, I'm going to get this one out and I'll show you this and then I'm going to run the other one through as well so this is the first one um, and this is why I said it if it's a little bit crooked no one's going to notice frankly because um, it's a bit wobbly at the bottom because it is a 3d embossing folder and I'm going to do the same again 
with my other piece of basic white. Now, this is a very, very deep embossing folder. Um, and I'm emphasizing that because you may want to spray your card with water first, just gently. Hello, Priscilla. Um, because that will help soften the fibers, um, which means it will go through easier. It won't crinkle so much and you'll get a deeper emboss. It's Shaz. I hope you're feeling better, Shaz. I hope every day is getting better and better. And I hope today is one of those days. Right, so we have our two pieces of 3D embossed paper. Let me just make sure that you can see that. Nihet is co. Okay, not quite sure what that means, Mary. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm being distracted. So yes, oh, it is showing up quite nicely. It's amazing what happens when you adjust your camera so that it's actually properly focused. So there we go. And I apologize, I haven't actually posted any of my videos on my website today. I'm fairly frenetic getting out uh, thank you packs in colour club feeling brighter each day yay um, yes it's correct thank you thank you um, I do have some Dutch friends but I don't speak Dutch at all so one of these is larger one of them is smaller this is the larger one so I'm going to put the smaller one to one side for the moment and I'm just going to bring in, because I'm going to do some other die cutting, a scrap of white card and Charming Sentiments. Because Charming Sentiments is the stamp set we all love if we don't like fussy cutting. Because it comes with the Sentiment Silhouettes dies. Now what I am going to do for myself is I am going to stamp a, some card with the sentiments so that I can actually attach the um, the stamps to the right because I you know I think because it looks about the right shape that this one probably goes over there it does in which case that is faith over excuse me faith over fear now this is a million dollar achiever set um lisa curso curso curs i think that's how you pronounce her name um had this idea um so yes i'm going to photocopy some i think probably i'm going to use this because then it's back to front which will make sense with the dies so that i know which die goes with which stamp because at the moment it's a bit a bit of a pig in a poke um which hopefully translates across the water so we haven't got a huge amount of space, but we could probably pop something up there or we can put something. We can cover up our lovely embossing if we want to. So I'm, let's see. Oh, because it's going to go with that. It's got to be with this. Um, now, some of these do go together. So, for example, um, let's see if that's fun. Hey there, good luck, good luck, hey there, work together. So they're the same font. Um, there's something where, somewhere where there's a good luck or something like that. Oh yes, good luck, not that you need it, etc. Um, oh, so tiny, so precious, babies are a blessing. So some of them do work together, if that makes sense. Hello, Susan from Calgary. So I'm thinking I'm going to go, hmm, I'm going to go the wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Because I think I can work out which stamp that is. It's that one. So it's quite a long stamp because the pictures, the pictures on the front are 85% of the actual. So yeah, so that will fit up there. Die cut, not stamping over the 
not stamping over the embossing I'm die cutting over the embossing and so this is going to was is sort of going to be white on white but I am I am going to introduce a color so I'm just doing this so that I can take the there's a finish that they put when they make these stamps they have a mold and they spray like you know a non-stick um, spray into the mold and that can stay on your stamp for a while so you want to get that off and I find just rubbing my hand over it before I use it for the first time works quite well or you can use a nice good quality white eraser um, but anything like that just to get a key on your stamp uh, I'm just looking at the ribbons and thinking what I might use I ooh, I could use that ribbon which is still with us but is about to retire right because I don't want it to be too dark so I'm going to stamp in petal pink on my basic white scrap which is a bit mucky because it's been through the uh, die cutter a few times so this is going to be a very subtle sentiment um, let's go just above that bit of smit so wishing you the happiest of birthdays let's say very subtle very soft um, not too much flounce let me just grab my scrub which I've used today so it's already got spray on it Put a lot of spray on it apparently I didn't realize it had that much spray on it I have a cloth just to wipe the excess off so let's pop that back on the stamp set and I now know I need a long I think it's going to be this one I think it's the longest sentiment we have yes it is so that's good right mini stamping cut and emboss now if you want to know more about the cut and emboss i did a top tip tuesday this week on um oh jian thank you excellent i shall go and look at it so for those of you who can't see the comments or are maybe watching on the replay which doesn't always have the comments um jian said that Lu uh, lisa curcio it's C-U-R-C-I-O, has a cheat sheet on her website um, to show you which, uh, which of these go with which of these. So do go and have a look at that because you can then print it out yourself. Hello, Marilyn from Texas. I think I might even have some uh, North American cardstock that I could print it on just in case sometimes when you print things it won't make a huge difference but sometimes when you print things in the wrong size um, on the wrong size card you can um, upset the sizing so I'm just putting a post-it note on top of that and pop that through Oh, Gwen's bundle is being delivered today. Yay! Right, so take my post-it off and we get this lovely, really well fussy cut sentiment. So if you don't like fussy cutting or you just want to save time, particularly when you're doing a live video, this is a brilliant set for that. So, there's my piece of embossed paper, card base. We're going um, landscape, which is unusual for me, but we are going landscape. But to get the most of that beautiful embossing, you could do the, um, you could do it portrait. So you could do it so that it's, let me bring in the, darker cardstock so you could do portrait um, wouldn't be an issue at all 
Oh, in fact, I might put, I've got a third piece of card. I might put it through and do the next one portrait. So the ribbon I am going to use is, it's the combo. I have another roll um, that goes with the on on the horizon DSP in the mini in the June soon to retire mini January to June mini doesn't actually matter that <laughs> Karen and fussy cutting don't get on any more than Gwen does that's why she's ordered it I like fussy cutting if you've followed me for any time you will know that I like fussy cutting but you know sometimes we have other things we need to do with our time so I'm just going to run this across the bottom or towards the bottom of my card front and as ever I'm going to use seal plus to attach on the back that's straight that's on that grid line so that's that grid line let's pull it taut like it's almost straight that's straighter like that I'll just trim this end bit off that's got the sticky on it because I don't really want the sticky Right, I am now going to add more Seal Plus over the top because then I can trap my ribbon between two layers of Seal Plus. Don't normally like liquid... <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Um, Shaz dislikes fussy cutting a lot. Priscilla doesn't mind fussy cutting flowers, but words not so much. That's fair enough. Um... I just love fussy cutting. Sometimes I forget that there are dyes and I just fussy cut. Um, so I wouldn't normally use liquid adhesive on basic white, but because we've got all this embossing, I do need to know that the adhesive is actually going to attach itself to the card. Um, and also I don't want to run tape runner over really beautiful embossed surfaces because it could squish it, and we don't want it squished. I have to say the only reason I do, I'm, I'm even vaguely good at fussy cutting, and I know people who are better, um, is because I do it a lot. And, you know, it is that old adage, unfortunately, that practice makes perfect. But hey-ho. Right, I have done some edge cutting, which is going to be very useful for these. I can put that there. I'm hoping that one of these, not that one, will that just tuck? Yes! These little sticky bits are really good at popping into the... So let's... Actually, not that way, don't I, for this one. So this little thin bit will help hold up the narrow bit of the sentiment. Now you can go all to the, right to the end if you wish. I'm not fussed. I'm sure it will stay in place quite happily without me having to put um, dimensionals. That's what I'm doing um, under here. Now, now, the other thing that is in the mini and is retiring are the polished dots, which I'm trying to use up. So let's get some of these. I'm going to add a bit more ribbon, but let's get the polished dots on first without the cat hair. The cats generally are not allowed in here, so will someone please explain, and I do know the answer, how on earth have I ended up with cat hair everywhere? And as I say, I know the answer. It's because I bring the cat hair in. I kind of want it coming down the way. So I'm going to go in under there, because I have quite a few of these. It's not as if I can't use them more. Uh, Shaz bought a scun and... A scun and okay, it started. A scan and cut, not a scun and cat. Um, Liz's talent is why I keep trying. Oh, bless you. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Lorna. Do like and share to help me. Thank you. Lorna's so nice. I love having Lorna on my team. Our team. I like to call it our team, not my team, because it is our team. I've got to put out a new newsletter, team newsletter. We had a team meeting earlier this week, on Monday, in fact, um, and I said I'd put out another newsletter with the, up, the, with the various things that we talked about, like doing swaps and challenges and things and I need to actually put out a new newsletter um, I so this is my second role of this or my other role I should say it's more than my second role I've been through a few because I like this ribbon I shall miss it particularly wonderful if I could pick up the other end there we go so all I'm going to do is my usual half knot just tie it and then trim my ends And you can either go with them both with the point at the top or alternate, doesn't make any difference, whichever you like. So let's pop that back in my little ribbon shelf. So that is my first ribbon. Oh, my Saints alive. That is my first card. <sighs> so there we are. Really quick, really simple. Just one bit of stamping and a bit of ribbon and a bit of coming down five like odd numbers little diagonal so that's our first card let me pop this die away because we will use a different sentiment for my next card so here we are it's just gone 25 past i did my usual blether at the beginning and we've got a card done thank you claire thank you jan Right, so that's the first one. I am going to run a second piece of card through um, the other way because I have now decided that oops, I will do a portrait. I might need to cut a new card base because otherwise I'm going to have a... Oh, it's going to just do my head in if my, if my card base is the wrong way for me. I like to have my fold at the top. So I'm cutting a quarter of an inch off both edges of this piece of card now. I will need that back to cut a new card base. Right, okay, so cut and emboss. Number one and number four plate. Embossing folder, which I'd lost. So this time I am going to Thank you, Priscilla. Yes, subtle. Uh, so this time we're going that way. Um, so we're going portrait rather than landscape. Might go slightly further across so I don't have just a little bit hanging off the edge of that bit. Because it just, well, it doesn't matter. My brain was going somewhere and I shan't bother. Your reels make me laugh out loud. Yes, my reels over on Instagram are kind of silly. I mean, hey, why be sensible when you can be silly? Life's too short. If there's one thing that having breast cancer taught me. Life is too short to take yourself seriously. So, yep. Ten years this year. So... We've got this one now. Let me just make sure that that is in camera. It is, so we've gone that way. Oh, I do like this. I found the sharpness feature on my camera. Right, I need another piece of card so that I can cut my card base. So I always do score once, cut once. So I'm going to line this up this is at about 14.85 centimeters roughly and then ten and a half and that's for those of us with international a4 i'm not even going to hazard a guess where it should be with the eight and a half by eleven it should be easy eight and a half so you're going to cut at four and a quarter by eleven score at five and a half in my head i hope you're impressed i can do maths in my head at this time of the day 12 years. Whoa. Well done, you. 
we just gotta mm. throw it into touch i was i was trying i've got i've got a saying i've got a, something that uh, is in my head and it's it's not it's not afternoon language um so yes <laughs> not saying it out loud but yes uh right so i want something that's going to fit up here so i think the easiest way is don't need not that you need it that's silly because that wouldn't make any sense at all i'm i'm using thank you a lot but it does fit um what's that one good luck oh good luck that will do that will do nicely right we'll use good luck this time sometimes we have experience which change our oh absolutely two such experiences great food lady oh thank you karen um yeah it's it's one it, it is one of those moments when you get that any sort of weird you know really bleh, moment um and you suddenly realize that so few things actually matter frankly um in the long and the short of it so long as you're so long as you've got your health you've pretty much got everything you need right i'm going to heat emboss this may or may not be the right color just saying um just saying it may or may not work with this color embossing powder i think it will i think it will doesn't actually matter which way up i stamp it because it's going to be die cut Oh, wow, Shaz, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm on constant meds, but I was given a very good prognosis. Um, I I was only, I, only, I was stage two, um, which is, I mean, thank, thank the Lord, only stage two. So, yeah, my prognosis was pretty good. Having said that, um, was it five or six surgeries I ended up having? within six months something like that and then I've, since then I've had more surgery but um, all's good right I'm not too worried about the odd bits that are in that are outside floating because I'm going to die cut it so yeah but yes I had a <laughs> Um, I don't know why I'm going under there for that. I want my cheese board. I had a review of my one of my medications earlier this week with the doctor because they have to review every now and again. Um, and it's like, you know, when were you told you're going to come off it? And I was told I probably would never come off it. Oh, OK. We'll extend it then. <sighs> Sounds like a plan to me. Yes. Yeah, should, we, should we keep me alive? That would be nice. So this is copper embossing powder. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. Now the thing with all embossing powders is you don't want to overheat them. If you overheat them, they they actually melt into the um, into the card, which is not good. And they go matte and really unpleasant. So let's get the right dye. I've got, I've got my embossing buddy everywhere. Um, so the right dye is. I don't think it is that one, but we'll give it. A, no, it's not that one. It's not that one. Oh, maybe it was. It's not that one. I'm sure it's not. Oh, it is that one. It is that one. Yes, my meds will probably mean I'll get osteoporosis, but I'm taking regular calcium and vitamin D to try and stop that. Um, much much to my amusement I had to have before the pandemic I had some blood tests um, just because I was feeling run down and um, when the results came back the doctor said gosh 
your vitamin D is very high. That's unusual. And I said, it's probably because I take vitamin D twice a day by on prescription. Because in order to absorb calcium, you have to take vitamin D or have good vitamin D levels. So theoretically, I shouldn't get infections as readily, which is clearly why I've had COVID twice. But there we go. Might be why I didn't get it too badly, of course. Right. OK, so we have our lovely good luck. I love these. Because I would not have fussy cut the inside of that. I'd have gone round the, the outside, but I would not have gone round the inside. Life really is too short for that. Right, OK. So let's pop my die back and bring this in. And now is the moment of truth. Because... <laughs> Get your sunglasses on if you have them nearby. That's all I'm going to say. Rose gold, new rose gold foil. I don't know if anyone has got it. Let me bring it out. Um, it's gorgeous, loving it. Um, I love rose gold anyway. So we have the matte, which is gorgeous, like satin. Uh, and we have the mirror, which is gorgeous. And I'm not going to get the full sheet of the other one out because it will blind you. We have the holographic, which is just amazing. Now, I can't remember what they describe this as, but it certainly isn't holographic. Let me get the catalogue out and I will tell you. The hole in the middle, Priscilla, is just perfect. Um, as I say, I would not have put the hole in the middle if I'd have been fussy cutting. So this is under the specialty papers. So they call it iridescent. I suppose it is sort of iridescent. Anyway, iridescent, matte and metallic. I would call it um, holographic, satin and mirror. So this would be the holographic, but it is very psychedelic foil. Absolutely. Shaz had it first at 27. Oh, yeah, I had to do the chemo. See, I can't do HRT. I'm the other way round. We are the lucky ones. So, yes, but this isn't the piece I'm using. That's the middle of the piece I'm using because I'm using this piece. So I gutted, gutted it. Let me show you what I mean. Let me grab a random piece of card. This is a random faded piece of card because it's been in the sun. Gutting is really easy with our lovely trimmer. This is a very odd size. It was, it's been used as a divide, which is, why it's gut, which is why it's faded. So I've got it on this, on the half inch edge, and I'm bringing my cutting blade in by about half an inch. Bring it down to about half an inch from the bottom. Pivot half an inch. And I personally find this easier going towards me. It doesn't matter. You can do either, but I'm more likely to whiz off the end if I go up. I feel I have more control personally if I bring it towards me. And I'm literally just doing all four sides at roughly half an inch top and bottom, but half an inch at the side. And then when you bring it out, you'll, you may find that you've got pips like die cuts um, but you can just pull it apart and then you've got this piece left over which when you're talking about foil like this um, it's quite important because it's you know it's you don't want to cover it all up and I'm thinking that the copper and the rose gold kind of go together absolutely Lorna yeah lungs is not good um, right, I'm going to use tear and tape for this because there's a reasonable amount of control over tear and tape. That said, I might end up going into the hole in the middle. But I don't want, obviously don't want um, liquid glue all over the back because there is no, it's going into a hole. So I'm just putting tear and tape to the end. Like that. 
Now I'm going to be very gentle, making sure it's pressed down. I'm not putting pressure on, I'm just rubbing gently. And where is my take your pick? It's right in front of me. Right. So let's remove our backings. And then we can put our card together. There is some ribbon to go with this as well, which may work. So this is a quarter of an inch bigger in each direction. Hello, Judith. So I should have an eighth of an inch on each side. Now, because this is tear and tape, once it's down, it's going to be down. So you do need to be reasonably accurate with where you're going. I'm reasonably accurate. Oh, and I got away without it sticking out. So that is my, so I've got a, a bit of a flash around the side. This is, Judith, this is the new rose gold. This is the iridescent psychedelic, I would call it holographic version of the rose gold foil. Um, and I thought, we've got our sentiment, but I also thought we've got our lovely striped ribbon, which is white and rose gold. So I'm thinking we can pop it across the bottom there. Not going to tie a knot in it, obvs, because it's just too fat for that. So I'll cut a piece off. You've had dips in the past. Um, yeah, I think apart from the else, because this is going on white, um, I mean, it may actually look, we may end up with it showing through um, a little bit what I think knowing that it's gutted um, I can see that it's gutted but I'm going to cover this up with my sentiment um, and the rest of it is so busy that it doesn't really matter um, but yes you can have that problem but I just I couldn't bear to use a whole piece yeah, I mean, if you're doing something very dark with white, uh, white, I think, is the one you have to be most careful about uh, because it's thinner than any of the other cards, colours. So more seal plus, preferably all the way along. Right, let's line that up on my grid paper. So this ribbon is... Rose gold and white, yes, I know that. Five eighths of an inch wide, and you get 10 yards or 9.1 centimeters. I'm not really a centimeter person. Right, so I've gone one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's make sure that's straight. One, two, three. There we go. And then again, I'm going to put some more. of this over the top doesn't want to stick particularly some ribbons it doesn't like sticking on so if that's the case i then resort to my tear and tape again resort is the wrong word but tear and tape it will stick over the top it just means i know it's encased in fact actually i'm probably better using tear and tape the whole way around again so let's do that Let me just peel that off and then I'll just go right way over the top of it again. But yeah, I do like my ribbon encased in adhesive, whichever adhesive you use. Absolutely, just a little flash of colour makes all the difference, uh, which is kind of why I wanted to do one that was all white and one that was so not... Shaz always got specialty paper. Hello, Nick from Utah. It is really pretty. Rose gold and white is a really elegant colour scheme. And because we've got the ribbon, why not, I say? 
let's use rose gold and white hello Pam from Australia just making sure I've caught up with you all and yes as Priscilla and Lorna say a bit of a, just a bit is kind of all you need really so let me just oh, that's gonna be fine Making sure it's straight. Press from the back gently so as to not squish my nice embossing. And then pop this up on things, dimensionals, that's the word I'm looking for. Hmm. And I probably need some half, di half mini dimensionals. Just so that there's support across as much of it as possible. Well, that's probably all I need. Let's just do one more half there. And then we're nearly done. Hello from the heart of Illinois. Hello, Rita. Shaz is putting all her stickers on her stamps. Well, because I was expecting to do, or had originally thought I was going to do the sit, stay, relax, I've put all the stickers on the back of my stamps. I have a rule, which I generally don't break, where once I have used one red rubber stamp, I put the stickers on all of them. So this is just going up there. Like that. And that's all I'm going to do with that card. So we've got those two. What's the what DSP behind the white embossing? It's not DSP. It's the rose gold, what they call iridescent, what I would call holographic and has been called psychedelic as well. So it's the, the you get the three, the three effects of rose gold in the pack. So you get two sheets of each with... So you've got the mirror, which they're calling metallic, the satin, which they're calling matte, and then the, you really don't want to see a full sheet of it, this. Um, if a full sheet, particularly on camera, is just, and particularly with all the lights that I've got, is what it is. I think that's technical. Thank you, Lorna. So, I say, really quick, it's only embossing, it's only an embossing folder, and then a little bit of stamping, die cutting. So, yeah. So, this is obviously the more orange version of pink, and this is the coppery end of pink because it's the rose gold copper. Um, the rose gold is just stunning. I love rose gold. But if you're wanting to do heat embossing, the uh, copper does go quite nicely because it is that slightly pink tone. But yeah, so there you are. Those are our two cards for the day. I'd say when I'm putting them on my website, but I'm so behind with posting things on my website. Thank you, Pam. You're very welcome, Rita. Thank you. So, yes, um, the embossing folder is just stunning. Um, so it really doesn't need anything. Thank you, Shaz. Um, thank you, Priscilla. So it doesn't need anything other than it, really, I don't think. Um, you can do ink techniques with it. I've shown ink techniques before. Um, so that would work quite nicely using the embossing folder like a stamp. So you ink the embossing folder and then run it through. Um, thank you, Karen. So I'm going to do that whole, you know, you know me, I have to flip the camera up to say goodbye properly. Oh, thank you, Mary. Yes, some thumbs up are always welcome. Let me bring the camera properly up so I can see you. I mean, I know I can't see you, but you know what I mean. Um, 
So thank you, Margaret. So yes, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Um, thank you, Gwen. They, it's, I mean, the embossing folder does it all. Do it in a whole range of colours, um, and it would just be lovely. It would be. I think all of the all of the subtles would look really, really nice in it. Um, so you're very welcome, Priscilla. Thank you. So yes, thumbs ups are always appreciated. If you're watching the replay and you've got any questions or comments, do leave those below in the description bar. I am really behind. Oh, Pam's, Kylie's your leader. She's so nice. Um, one day I'm going to meet her. One day. I, it's the incentive trip next week, except we're not going um, because of, you know, that thing that's been doing the rounds. Um, but I would have met her on the incentive trip otherwise but never mind um there'll be there'll there will be a, an opportunity <coughs> excuse me um so yes thank you very much indeed if you're watching on replay below the description bar leave a comment leave a question i will get back to you i generally answer questions before i answer comments purely because i like to make sure that people if people ask a question about a project i want to make sure i answer them quickly um Rita hadn't noticed this embossing folder until now. No, it's not well highlighted. There are a lot of dyes that aren't well highlighted as well in this year's catalogue. <coughs> I would love to go all the way to Melbourne, but I'd need to take quite a few weeks to do it. Um, and my husband won't fly. I've been to Perth. I haven't been to the. I haven't been to the east coast. I've only been to the west coast. One day, one day, I will go to the east coast. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for your very kind comments. Um, and I will be back randomly tomorrow. Simple Stamping Saturday. I'm hoping will be recorded this week. If I get my butt in gear tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be doing so random Friday. I will do probably do a random Saturday. Random Monday. 11 o'clock Tuesday morning UK time and also 3 p.m. Thursday afternoon is a set in stone so I hope to see you soon maybe at one of those or a random so thank you very much look after yourselves and I will look forward to seeing you all again very soon bye bye <laughs>